just setting things up for the Twitch stream and make sure that it actually tweeted because we're consistent. I'm gonna go with no. There we go. Threw in a couple of tweets. And let's see how well this works, I guess. Um, hi, I'm recording this. So I'll upload it later on YouTube as well. Um, just felt like streaming for some reason. Got a kitty in my lap. It's I, I can't really point the camera at my lap right now. I can't quite reach the camera. Nope. And I don't know. Wait, wait. Kitty's starting to get up. See? I told you I had a kitty in my lap. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to play some Railroad Tycoon. I just want to relax, and I kind of feel like doing this a little socially. Let me turn down the volume on my side. Wow, that potentiometer is a lot- oh, right. It's this volume. Uh, I'm borrowing a friend's microphone temporarily. Uh, also, what you see at the top- uh, camera's getting cut off. Uh, what you see at the top is um, Munt. It's a Roland MT32 emulator. So. The music that you're going to be hearing is, well, it's basically the best possible music that Railroad Tycoon would have had. This is Sid Meier's Railroad Tycoon. I've been playing it for a bit. I've not really been doing much of anything else. It's relaxing. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and start a new one. Um, so I've recently finished a uh, both South America and Africa, which both of those maps are from... The deluxe version of the game, which I had never played up until a few weeks ago. And, well, I'm just doing this to relax. Uh, yeah. Uh, hmm. The trying to think of what I want to play. The South America map's weird because it actually rotates the entire map. And Africa was interesting last time, so I think I'll go with Africa again. Play it financier level and make it onto complex economy and cut through competition. Uh, so, what that means is so, no collision operation. What that means is that trains won't run into each other. They're going to be smart enough to pull off to the side. I don't like dealing with collision operation, even back when I was good at the game. Um, complex economy means that cities don't just want to buy and sell everything. That's dumb. That's not the way reality would work anyway. And cut through competition means that the AIs will be marginally better. They're not great, generally. You'll occasionally get an AI that's successful. Most AIs will just crash and burn without you doing anything. Kind of weird. Anyway. Okay, so world generation is complete. Now let me move the windows around a bit. Um, I'm also trying stream chat for the first time. So for an example... Um, so, chat's actually being recorded for once, uh, and it should stay up for about two minutes, if the way I have it set. So, hopefully that means that things will be a little bit better for those of you watching via Twitch. If not, not a big deal. This will be up on YouTube later. Extra. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out where we want to start. So, last time I ended up starting over here. Um... Specifically, my line was, where was that? I think my line was Nadola to Chunga. So I'm going to try somewhere else this time. Could go South Africa. So over here is a really nice place to start. Uh, I mean, here worked out well for one of the AIs I was playing with. Uh, they technically beat me. Last time I played, um, they had a higher value by the end of the game than I did. But I think I'm going to start in this section. I have a crying cat again. Uh, Isin's stomach's been upset lately. So, um, let's go ahead and go into regular view. So, another weird thing about this is that when I played Railroad Tycoon originally, back when I was a kid, I was playing in CGA graphics. And CGA graphics are four colors at a time, typically. So this is a lot more colorful than I'm used to the game being. So it kind of throws me off in some ways. Okay. So let's... 
of 10 for survey. Survey gives you the elevation levels. You don't want to have too high or too much of a grade one way or the other. So like, for instance, I don't want to build my railroad from this 48 to the 64. A gradual grade, on the other hand, is fine. So like 46 to 47 to 48, perfectly fine, no issues. Even 46, 47, 48, 53, that's still fine. Anything below, I think it's 1% is ignored. So my intent is to build from Nampula to Mukambique. Uh, or I could actually build down to Kelmain. Uh, we'll just start over here. This is a major city, so that's nice. And this has a port. Ports have very useful things. Meow. Um, so I, it gives me mail, troops, food, and manufactured goods, and it depends a whole bunch of things. So I can start up a basic rail line between these two and be fairly successful. I'm going to put my station there. So. Yeah. Oops. Overshot a little bit. I was intending to put my station. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to build on top of the village. Why not? And we'll build a terminal over here just because I want to encompass all of this area. By the way, um, how readable is the chat? Because I had to make it fairly small for it to actually fit in the little area that I had. I didn't want it to overlap the uh, game. Because otherwise, then it might be a little bit harder to read. I already have my own camera overlapping the game, obviously. I keep forgetting that it's mirror imaged. Okay. Got Nambula. We'll build a station here. There we go. And let's build a choo choo. So um, we start with two different trains. Um, most. I think most scenarios, unless if you're playing on the England scenario or the North American scenario, start with multiple trains. Uh, those two scenarios specifically start so early on in the game that there's only one train. Um, in general, what you need to look at is the top speed and the horsepower. Higher horsepower means it can carry heavier goods. Higher top speed means it is faster. So you want faster trains for passengers and mail and slower workhorses for goods. I'm going to start with a 4222 Sterling. And 22s there. This is actually, this game is the only reason why I know anything about trains. Um, but we're going to start with two passengers, and that's it. And by default, if you start in your starting city, it will choose your second city as the second stop. This is exactly what I want. I don't need to change anything. Go right ahead. And at this point, the game unpauses. It's actually somewhat smart that way. Oh, and we can see the train going. I think it's going at... Yeah, it's going at moderate speed. Which is fine. All right. This is going to be producing livestock. Do I have anything that can use livestock over here? Yes, they will in fact pay for livestock. So I can make a second train for livestock. Use the DX goods for this. It's probably not the most interesting stream or anything. It's just like I wanted to stream something. And well, I guess I'll stream this. All right, so we're doing one livestock for the time being. Oh, I'm using a special build of DOSBox. I forgot to mention that part. Um, this build has pixel perfect representation. So while I had to zoom it for the stream itself, ooh, weird shadows on my fingers. Um, I had to zoom it for the stream itself. It's actually appearing at a perfect scale on my screen, which is nice. Uh, okay. So we are going to have livestock and it will return food. So if I remember right, it's a slaughterhouse. So it's going to convert it to food. That's fine. And because this train is a fast freight, 
what that means is that it has a lower priority than passengers and a higher priority than like bulk goods like coal or something. There we go. That's our first passenger delivery. And it was going at 37 miles an hour. That's pretty good given that it's like, well, yeah, that's a record. Um, given that it's 1870. The Mocambique Zafir. Now, unfortunately, I only have one line here, so this uh, fast freight will end up pausing for this passenger line. That was what I had explained before of um, they won't ram into each other. See, that one paused, that one goes through. Extra. Um, those alerts are just informing you about the economy. And then this will end up unpausing. This is fine for now, it won't be fine forever. Factory? Or... Yeah, factory. They want rubber and sugar. Um, I'm going to zoom out a bit further. I could expand further in the planes here, or I can go down to here. I think this might be a better spot. Yeah, they have rubber. Um, Extra. Although this is going to be better for passengers. It's one of those don't know which one's going to be more useful. You notice that the livestock's worth quite a bit less. Only 12,000 pounds of revenue. Because we are... Furious British bastards. I did not want to gun that. Sorry, I'm not used to the controls anymore. What I'm going to do is pull off from here. And we're going to build a station over here. Um, I think I need to put that station there. Which means that I actually built one too many. Unfortunately, you don't get a refund for um, removing track. In fact, I think it actually costs a small amount. Station. This is going to be a... Mm. Is that rubber plant? Yes, it is. I think I can actually build this as a terminal instead. I can get the rubber plant. All right, so we also have manufactured goods, which is really nice. Um, food, and we have a lot of useful things from this place. So. Hmm, I have to keep that in mind. Oh, that's right, because it has a port. And ports give manufactured goods, don't they? So we're going to build a, or actually we're going to modify the, actually I need to finish this. There we go. That way trains can go in either direction. Um, you are going to add Telemain. Right. New train. We'll do another DX goods, I assume. I didn't throw up a kitty cam this time just because kitty cam doesn't work very well with the uh, one, a cat that's not staying still, and two, with the green screen because my green screen isn't that large. Um, maybe after I rearrange furniture, it'll actually fit better. So, um, what I want is rubber and manufactured goods. Actually, I didn't need it to start there. Oh. Well. Okay, so you're going to have rubber and manufactured goods. You're going to be returning... Do you have a demand for troops? You do. So we'll do troops and manufactured goods back, I guess. So, rubber, manufactured goods, manufactured... Actually, do you even demand manufactured goods right now? Yes, okay. So, um, also, we can go into engine info and actually get the specs as to, like, for instance, the train speed is the same regardless of whether I have one car, two car, three car, four car, or even five cars, as long as I don't have two, I have a grade, and I haven't had anything at 1% or higher grade-wise, so I could actually just load this up with more cars, and I think I'm going to. Okay. 
manufactured good. Okay. We'll do that. And to make things easier for me, I'm going to double track this area. Oh, and I'm poor. Well, I'm going to have to wait for a bit. Let's speed things up a little. Food is actually worth quite a bit more than the livestock, and that's fine. Alright, we have reached our end of our fiscal period. Fiscal periods in this game are two years long. And the music that plays during the income statement indicates how well you're doing. This is happy music. You can see all of the blinking lights up at the top. So we've spent a little over a million pounds, which we're going to spend a lot of money in the beginning, that's fine. Um, but we've actually made a profit, or I should say our assets are greater than our liabilities. Our assets are 1,090,000 quid, our liabilities are a million quid, so we made 90,000 quid profit. Here's our stock analysis. Um, this is our efficiency report. Right now our efficiency is going to be garbage because we just built up. Um, it will get much better later on. And the investors are ecstatic because we've grown our shares quite a bit over the past two years. Mostly because they were really low to begin with. Anyway, we're still poor. So we need to wait for a little bit longer. Right, there's our rubber service. Also manufactured good service. Yep. Extra. yep. And we have another AI with a railroad. The first thing the AI always does is buy 30,000 shares of their own stock. I don't bother. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold on a moment. Um, so they buy 30,000 shares of their own stock and then sit on it for a while. Um, they're in a city somewhere. It said it. I don't remember where. Oh, not game count. Yeah, I don't remember where. And it's going to be really hard for me to spot it because they don't have a connection anywhere. Otherwise, it's very obvious from looking at the map where they're at. They'll probably build a connection soon enough. Anyway, um, the other thing that just came up was... Oh, dang it. Game's dumb like that. So there was a special delivery. So they want me to pick up sugar from Nampula and drop it off in Mocambique. Which is fine. Um, I'll do that after that arrives at its destination. Also, let's finish double tracking this. There we go. Uh, game speed. Go slow for the time being. That's a little too slow. So I'm waiting for that train to go back. Okay. Sierra to Umtali. I will look at that in a moment. I'm just waiting for this train to arrive. All right. But so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it priority orders. This means it overrides anything else that it would normally do. The priority order is to pick up that sugar. Does I already have a train doing this route, it's not that big of a deal for me to do this. Uh, normally I wouldn't bother. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh yeah. Let's take a look at world map. So now, now you can see where they're at, and there's a new one in Dar Salaam. They will immediately buy up their shares. Oh, end of income statement. We are now at 200,000 quid profit. Our efficiency has gone up quite a bit. That's nice. Alright, train 3 has re produced no revenue and received no maintenance. I know why it's done no maintenance. Uh, I should fix that. I'll explain that in a moment. Oh yeah, investors are still ecstatic. Um, our share price actually hasn't changed, oddly enough. So, the average that's listed there is the average over time. So that's since the start of the game. Um, they're still happy with me, but they're going to become substantially less happy with me as time goes on. Okay. Go ahead and pause. And there was a couple of things I needed to explain. First off was maintenance. So this train has only gone down to Quellamane and is hard, 
Yes, I see. And you can come up here if you want. We're in my lap. Um, it's gone from Colomain, and it's going to go up to Mocambique. The reason why it hasn't made any money is that all it's done is gone to Quellamain and picked up the goods. So that's expected. But the maintenance part is a problem. The only place that I can maintain things right now, what is it, Isun? Is Nampula. Nampula is not a part of its route. So I'm going to need to make sure that there's some type of maintenance facility somewhere. I'm going to put it in Quellamain. Proof station, maintenance shop. See, now it has a maintenance shop. Engine shops, which your first station will always have that space right before terminals bothering me. Um, an engine shop also counts as a maintenance facility, so I don't need to worry about it in my first terminal. So, now it will receive maintenance so the train doesn't break down or anything like that. That's good. Oh, I'm paused, aren't I? Just watching trains. Probably like watching paint dry for a lot of people, but I mean, I don't know. Just wanted to stream something. Let's see. Okay. I connected a new route. That's fine. All right. 51,000 quid. That's a lot of money, but, or is that just for the rubber? That was just for the rubber. Okay, yeah, that was totally worth doing. Nice. And now we're initializing service for troops. Oh, um, other things I can do is I can tell these to wait for a full load. That's useful for, like, it's not worth waiting for a partial load because it's a long trip or something like that. Um, it's not that it's a long trip, it's that the DX Goods is a really slow train. So I want it to wait for a full load. That's fine. All right. So we can't connect down to Beira anymore because there's somebody there. And we can initiate what's called a rate war. Um, basically, I march into their station and we have to fight for the city. The problem is the AI cheats a lot. Like, there's the AI has next to nothing over here and will somehow win the rate war. I don't know how they would. I have never won a rate war in the years that I've been playing this game. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, so I'm going to actually expand over here to plan tire once I have more money. I could borrow some money. I should probably explain the broker. So the broker allows you to borrow money, allows you to buy and sell stock. You can even buy AI stock. Um, oh, sorry, Nicholas only bought 10,000 shares of their own stock. Interesting. Really, it's not that important to do. Unless you have extra money, then you could probably just stash it into your area. But the more important thing right now is bonds. I could buy a bond, which is not a bad idea. Interest rates are really low right now. Or I can sell back or repay the bond. Um, but this is buying a bond or selling a bond of my whatever. Stocks are hard. Um, or repaying a bond. I don't have 500,000 quid right now. I'm actually going to sell a bond. I'm going to go further into debt finance my expansion. Okay, where would I want a center for Blantyre? I don't want that village. Fortunately, villages are expensive. Yeah, because if I build there, I would need a terminal. So I'm going to build here and go with a station instead. Oh, and Plantire is offering to buy some of my stock, which is nice. Let's go ahead and install stock. I've only seen that in the deluxe version of the game, so I think that's a newer feature. So they want male passengers, food, and manufactured goods, and all they have are male and passengers, which is fine. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change this to over here. 
So this train is what's referred to as a local train, which means that it will stop on every stop on the route to and from where you're going. So it'll go everywhere. Local trains are fine for the beginning. Uh, later on, I'll be making different train types and so on, just because I will have a lot of different train types to use. Uh, let's see, what else should I mention? Oh, there's a limited number of stations that you can have in each game. British shipment canceled, but I finished it. Oh, damn. Oh, well. They're selling off their own stock already. They're not doing so well, are they? No, no, they just need more money for an expansion, it looks like. Well, as long as they don't go to Kelamane, I'm fine. But I'm guessing that they're expanding down to there. Equala. Equalakla. Anyway, for those of you that may have played Civ 1, you'll notice a lot of similar graphics. I mean, it's made by Admire, both of them. Alright, profits are at 290k. That's kind of to be expected. Looks like my stock is still flatlined, though. Train 3 received no maintenance. Oh no, stock went up a little bit, but... Ooh, their stocks are crashing. There's the troops. Troops does not get me much money. I'm basically just waiting out until they go bankrupt. Because it's probably not going to take long, to be honest. Um, we'll look. You're a grain elevator? Sugar plant. Okay. So you have sugar. Fair amount of it, too. Um, who demands sugar? I think each of the ports might demand sugar. Okay. Uh, yeah, you demand sugar. Is it from the port or from the factory? That was just a message that popped up that I don't know what it said. Okay, you're demanding sugar from the harbor. Got it. In that case... Why is the mouse hidden? In that case, I'm actually going to switch this over to carrying both. Mukambique. A decent amount of manufactured goods still. That's fine. What I'm actually going to do is change. Oh, that's fine. Uh, change this, where rather than it returning manufactured goods, it's going to grab export goods. They're going to be receiving more and more export goods as time goes on. So we'll do it that way. And wait for a bit. While we're waiting, I'm going to start planning my next expansion. So this is... Sorry, that sounded like a cat vomiting. Um, this is a large village area. Villages have an okay amount of passengers and mail, but not much. So it takes four villages to have the same passenger demand as one city, if I remember right. No, it's two for one city. It's the fact that cities demand food and manufactured goods at a normal rate. So they're not great to build into. The reason why I was waiting until Blantyre actually had some city. Uh, there we go. Sugar started. That's good. Um, long way, on the other hand, actually does look like a good city to expand into. There's the export goods. But he should. Oh, that just went away. That's less good now. Yeah, so cities will expand and contract as time goes on. There's. I don't think you can really do much of anything about it. Looking at my options nearby. 
Expanding all the way out to Nadola would not be too bad, but that's a bit of a long range. Oh, okay, that demands livestock. Okay, it's the green ones that provide livestock. Might as well repay. There's no reason to hold on to money if you have bonds that you can repay. Unless if you actually need it right that moment. In my mind, at least. That's the river plantation. And it's fiscal. Yep, my profits are much higher now. I mean, yeah, year-to-date my operating funds have dropped, but that's expected. I just repaid a bond. But my efficiency has gone up quite a bit. That's because I'm not expanding at the moment. That kind of makes sense. Yep, stock rose quite a bit. Um, Varian Umtali has dropped down to $2 a share and then dropped out. So if your stock stays below $5 a share for more than one fiscal quarter, your railroad company goes bankrupt. Like I said, the early AIs are terrible. I don't understand why. Extra. Oh, panic time. So that means, so what those econ- um, fine. Lots of money is good. So what that means is that interest rates just spiked like mad. So as a result, I'm kind of poor. I was about to go check out another bond, and can't. I think bonds in this game are floating interest rate, though. So I'm still going to go sell a bond. You also are limited as the maximum number of bonds that you can have. Nope, it actually isn't fixed rate. Oh well. So, the types of bridges, I should explain. Uh, there are three types of bridges in the game. Wooden trestle, iron girder, and stone masonry. Wooden trestle bridges are the cheapest type of bridge, and they wash out by, like, three raindrops hitting the bridge. You will constantly have to deal with washed out bridges. It is never worth building a wooden trestle unless you are that poor. Iron girders stand the test of time. They don't really wash out, but they only have one lane of traffic. Stone masonry or masonry have two lanes of traffic and are otherwise very similar. So I will start with an iron girder and I can upgrade it later. The deluxe version gives you this picture. I don't quite understand why, but sure. Uh, Nampula A now accepts troops. That probably means that it has a fort. here. Uh, we'll go with station for the time being. Ah, yes, that is fine. Okay, so this is a nice place. And now you'll notice that, let me pause and go out to the main screen for a moment. Uh, you'll notice that there's a, I basically have a fork. And uh, yeah, there's the AI track. Um, so usually I end up with forks because I don't build in a straight line. And usually at that point, I change the way my passenger service works. So right now my passenger service is hitting basically the entire fork. I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is drop Kelamane entirely and then build a new train. <laughs> Flash kitten. Start it in Mozambique and have it go through to Beria. So the reason why I do that is that now I have a little passenger hub. 
I'm going to upgrade Mocambique a little bit with a restaurant and a hotel. What this means is that I will gain more money for passenger service going through Mocambique, which if any passengers want to go through that fork, they're going to be stopping in Mocambique. So that kind of makes sense to me. Okay, and we can go back to fast speed. Ah, you're connecting further. Where are you at now? Yep, you connected down to here. I'm a little concerned that they may start trying to go all the way out. Alright, first export goods delivery, that's nice. Extra. They had no troops on that train. So, um, how am I doing when it comes to mail? That's the one type of good I haven't started uh, doing anything to. Uh, mail is kind of low demand still. Mail is not great demand in general. Nampula probably has the highest demand for mail. So, at this point, I am going to build a mail train. But it's going to be a really crappy mail train. So mail is the second priority on service. So passengers are first, mail is second. So one mail. And then I'm going to have this mail train hit the entire fork. It's not worth the effort of going through the entire thing in my mind. There we go. So at least mail will do something. It'll get me a little bit of money. It's not much in the way of profit. It's nothing compared to passenger service. Yep, there's the fort that Nebula built. Um, I can actually choose to build industries as well. It's just usually not worth it unless if like you desperately want to have some type of trade line and you don't have any good sources of something. Like, for instance... Um, if I didn't, ha if I had plenty of rubber around, but didn't have anything like factories to process the rubber, that's where I would potentially build an industry. Not really worth it otherwise. Okay, I should probably build down there because that is a resource that I can use. Copper ore is used by each of the ports plus factories. Used by the ports. Uh, yes, okay. So that would be a quick win for me. I do have three ports. This area is a little on the slow side. Let's zoom out. Sorry, I prefer going on the zoom just so you can actually see things. Actually, let's switch this to moderate. Okay. Um, first train in Beria. That's good. Our mail train has finally made a delivery. It's a lot of money for one train of mail, though. But that train wasn't even full, and I haven't done anything with mail this entire time. That's the problem with mail. But you usually... Oop! New locomotive. So an 080 web compound. Um, I used to remember what the numbers actually signified, but this is going to be another um, cargo train because it has a lot of horsepower and it goes much faster. But you'll notice that it starts slowing down at three cars instead of five cars like the other one. Although four cars is fine, and that's generally where I stick my uh, freight trains at. At least until the end of the game. So oh, I have nearly a million in profit right now, which is nice. Uh, my stock price has risen quite a bit. Investors are still ecstatic, although it didn't rise by much this time. Ah, the other, you'll notice that number two actually rose up from the $5 a share, which means that they'll stay around for a little while, which is nice for them. Not so much for me, because they're close to me. Um, so I'm actually going to start looking at upgrading trains. So let's go ahead and take a look at train income. 
So this shows us how much money our trains have made. You'll notice that this has made way more money than everything else. And the reason for that's really simple. Passengers pay a lot more money. Um, this train hasn't made as much, even though it's a passenger train, just because it's only been around for a year and change. So that makes sense. Um, these two trains haven't made anywhere near as much money, but they're still making money. It's still a reasonable profit. Uh, in my mind, usually like 30,000 quid or higher is reasonable profit. So uh, changing their engine is actually going to make them more efficient. So we're going to upgrade them to the web compound instead of the DX goods. Is that F5? No. F6? Yeah. Okay. I have to click over here. Uh, okay, so they are actually not able to fill up their train. That's good to know. How can Beak have anything else that is just sitting around? I mean, export goods, but I'm already using export goods elsewhere. I don't really want to double tap into that. Hmm. Can upgrade it to a compound. And this is actually a good setup to start, in my mind. Um, I want to expand to Liguan Leong Way. I'm sorry, I'm butchering all of these names. I should be better at that. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and start building out. What was that message? Okay, I'm Beak accepting food. Okay, that just means that they have a city now. Ooh, there's two factories up there. Wow. Meow. Um. Yeah, let's terminal this. Yes, please. I will totally sell you some of my stock. Okay. Modify our... Okay, you're no longer going to blend tire. You're actually now going to the long way. The long way. Okay, because so few passengers right now. That city really needs to grow fast. Because I'm hitting it for two different passenger routes right now. Um, also, you have a lot of demand for things. Because you have two different factories, both of which demanding rubber and sugar. So if I can find a rubber sugar plantation area, like, say, this rubber plantation here, where there's two rubber plantations right next to each other, that's pretty good. I might be able to find better, though. Let's zoom out slightly, because I can see well enough zoomed out. And let's switch this over to slow. Doesn't need to be paused. Oh, um, while I'm thinking about it, let's go repay that bond. Okay. Do I have a bunch of rubber plantations all in one area nearby? Other than down below the river? I'd rather not have to cross a river again. Not really seeing much. I mean, there's a couple of onesie twosie. Oop, wait, wait. Nadola has a triple rubber plantation. That's what I need to do. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to be rebuying that stupid bond. I'm going to need to expand a lot. At a lower interest, at least. I like making sure that I can I don't have to back into something. Ooh, export goods from Mozambique to Lagonga. I can do that. Um, okay. 
Although, once more, I don't really have a train that's great for this. Where are you at right now, anyway? You're way down there. You know what? We will priority pick up... Is it manufactured goods or export goods? I've already forgotten. Uh, export goods. Anyway. Uh, we are building way out over to here, which is going to suck a bit. But I really want those three rubber plantations right now. Recruiter. That's fine. And then we are going to straighten out and go straight across. Okay. Uh, if I want to build a regular station, there is where I'm building. So I'm going to do that there. Ah! So close on money. Just speed this up a little bit so I can get money faster. Oh, wow, that's a lot of bonus. Come on. Really don't want to take out a third loan, but I think I'm going to. building a station. Actually, no, let's build the terminal. That's going to be easier. Because I'm looking at it, it's like I also get this, which is sugar, if I remember right, and two more villages. It's worth it. Uh, yes, please. <coughs> 14 cars a year of rubber and three a year of sugar. That's kind of what I wanted. So you are going to get an improvement of an engine shop, so I can actually build trains from here rather than having to bring them all the way over from the uh, middle of nowhere. Okay, let's build a new train. This is a web compound from Nadola. Wow, I've already been recording for almost an hour. Ooh. Ooh. Bandwidth problems. Uh, my internet connection just started puking. It's recovering now. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. For those of you that are watching on Twitch, which I think may be zero to one of you. Everybody says, oh no, actually I have a couple people. Nice. Hi. Anyway, um, you are going to go rubber, rubber, rubber. That's all I will do for now. You're going from the Dola out to Lugongwe. And you're going to return with, uh, that's probably going to end up being export goods that it's going to manufacture. What do you actually have? Um, sugar? You see what the part looks like. Yeah, that's sugar. Do you have any demand for sugar? No. You're just going to caboose. Okay. And let's update this. There we go. Yeah. Okay, let's back to fast and zoom out a little bit. Making a lot of profit, but oh boy, am I in debt now. Okay, you see. Oh, stock price bros. That's all people care about, right? Okay, why do you not have... Oh, okay, you actually did switch. You're on your way to Mukambique still.
Lancet, that train. Yeah, I just left Kilimane. Okay. Jola now has, accepts Rupert and Sugar. We're going to switch this to slow because I'm going to try to catch it before it heads out. So you're going to see this engine turn green when it actually arrives. See? And now I'm going to priority ship out to there. Also, we're going to... Add to the manifest a little bit for the mail. And... All right, so that should now be on its way out once it finishes going through the station. Go ahead and get things back up again. Yep, and it's going on its correct direction. So when this arrives, I will get the bonus, but the bonus has been constantly dropping. The reason why I usually don't bother, just because the bonuses are kind of crappy. Also, strange fact about this, um, no, I don't want to build a new train. Um, Extra. Come on. Come on. Um, you'll notice that things are turning green. So basically, that export goods that I've picked up keeps being dropped off and picked up at other places. So it actually makes it where you could, in theory, have, like, if your goal was to take it from Beria all the way to Ndola, you could actually have it drop off in Mocambique. But in general, that's not worth it. Anyway, that bonus will be really nice. And let's go ahead and repay a bond. I have tons of them. I would rather not have that many. Oh, dang it. Feline based influence. Ooh, you expanded. Okay, I need to see where you're. No. I have a cat directly in front of my face. Notice tail. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So I should mention that um, bond blocked by market just means that I hit the maximum bonds for the current market. Uh, yeah, you expanded out to there. Okay, I'm a little concerned about somebody hitting Mabea. Hitty. Okay. Um... Go ahead and bring speed back up again. Extra. Junga just built a new one. Junga wasn't that far from me, was it? Wasn't that over here? Yeah. You can see the little station, although it's not producing anything, so. I could theoretically build into it at this point, but it's going to expand pretty quickly. I'm actually going to sit tight for a bit. I'm just repaying some bonds because we're in a recession now. Ah, did I actually receive the reward? I must have. I just didn't. Must have just clicked through by accident. All right, so. Um, we have significantly more profit again. Um, the shareholder equity is pretty high, though. I should probably start buying some stock. Though I don't have as large of liabilities on my report, but that's okay. Oh, we have trains without maintenance again. Right. Extra. Okay. Sugar from Kelamane to Nampula. Sugar from Kelamane. Kelamane's down here. Nampula. That's not a very long distance. Hmm. I don't think that makes much sense for me to do, though. What are you doing? Silly kitty. Okay. 
I'm going to wait a little bit longer, get my money back up, and then start expanding again. I was really tempted to see if I can pull off, like, taking over a chunka. Oh, I should mention, you can also, um... You can also buy out a company. If you own 50 per, uh, over 50% of the stock of a AI company, you own the company. You can control it at that point. I'm not going to do that this game just because it doesn't work out well usually, unless if I have gobs of money and I just want them to go away. Condola no longer takes livestock. I don't think I had it Dick. getting livestock. Extra. Boom times ahead, okay. That means that it may be worth me pulling out a bond now. It's only 3% interest. I can deal with that. <sighs> Alright, wrong zoom level. Ah, that would be why you now have new demands. You have a foundry. I would love to be able to use that foundry in some way. But... Uh, I would have to build either up to here or throw a depot over here to do it. That's sugar, right? Yeah. Uh, or up here, which is very high um, height. Yeah, that's in the hundreds, and most of Africa is in the 40s. So that's a very high grade to get up there. That's really slow. It's not worth me going up there right now. Not while I'm still using um, steam engines. I think I'm going to save and see what happens if I expand the chunga. I know in the original Railroad Tycoon, there's a glitch where the AI would basically just generate things without having a city connection, and I never figured out why. Trying to figure out the cheapest way to get there. Ugh. Are you serious? Holy crap, that's up in the mountains. Oop. I need to come at southern exposure. Oh, I just wasted a bunch of money. That's fine. I should have surveyed first. That'll have to do. All right. Male passengers, copper ore, and sugar. Extra. Yep. There's the rate ore. Oh, crap. I'm out of money. Go back deep in debt again. There. Build new train. Sterling and Nadola. Let's handle the passenger mail first. So what we want to do when it comes to a rate war is offer as much as we can to that city. Because at the end of every fiscal year, the city will vote 
And if we win two votes by a certain margin that I can't remember now, we take the city and we get far more profit from it. Also, it would probably collapse the opposing railroad. I'm just hoping that we can do it fast. We'll go mail passengers. Okay. You have no need for rubber. Uh, it's okay, I assume. I don't know why he's been crying so much lately. New train. Web compound in Nadola. Not that we're going to do anything with it there, but that's the closest engine yard, and I don't want to build another one right now. <sighs> Nothing. You are going to start in Chunka. And you're going to have copper ore. You're going to go to Nadola. Now, come to think of it, I don't need two trains to do that, really. I can do it with one. Isn't that right, I assume? Right. Um, I'll do it this way for now. Really, it might be faster for me to use a crappy train. No. I'll do it this way for now. So let's double up this section. And only that section. Okay. This is so dumb. make any sense it's not producing anything i'm wondering if it's still glitched and somehow a single city railroad is handling all of their needs well we'll find out really fast and if so we'll just reload it's not that big of a deal not want to click on that okay we're still doing well we have lots of profit now at the end here Okay, so they have not picked up or delivered anything. That's fine. They're going to collapse before they actually... Whatchamacallit, um... Before I can actually win the Great War, aren't they? You know what? I'm gonna shore them up. I'm buying their stock so their stock price increases. There. About five dollars a share now. Zin, what are you doing? Okay. There is for sale. Copper service initiated, although I don't think you have any copper right now. Extra. You do actually, okay. You have 24 tons. It's better than nothing. Isin, I or should have canceled, that's fine. Mail from Ling Longway to Blantyre. Dang it, game. Okay. Mail from here to there. Oh, your priority destination's there now. I don't even think I'm going to be able to make it, but you know, worth a shot. And it's mail. I'm already doing mail elsewhere, so that's fine. I would love to double track all of that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Let's go ahead and repay a bond. Because we have the money. Last. Let's speed things up a bit. Oh, Johannesburg has George Steppenson. Okay. New um, train engine. 
This one's meant for passenger service. It has a high max speed, but not very powerful. So you'll notice that it slows down even at one eh, below one car. So it's not a great train for longer ones, but this is great for our mail train. Okay. Aha! Seven to zero in favor of us. All other railroads must leave town immediately. Wonder if this will cause a glitch because they don't actually have any other places. That's fine. Okay. Yep, they just collapsed entirely. That's fine. I lost a little bit of money from my investment into them, but it was money well spent. Okay. So this is a bit concerning. Um... The Dar es Salaam to Matwara Railroad increasing in stock price and their actually net worth is pretty high. That to me says that the AI is actually succeeding, which is a bit worrisome. Also, how the hell is the Johannesburg Railroad making a profit? They don't have another city. The AIs in this game cheat so much. Okay. This is just updating you on score for reference. Okay. Game speed is low. Um, okay, so this is now mine. That's good. We don't necessarily need this service anymore, but I'm going to keep it around anyway just because. Um, this, you now have a weight. And rather than Nadola. No, Nadola is probably the better one still. Just trying to think of where else I can drop off the iron ore, and the answer is not real or copper ore. And the answer is not really too many good places. Nadola is probably fine. Um, you're actually going to caboose. I should have done that before, and I didn't. Um, you have gobs of rubber. We should update this from three rubber to four rubber. And you have way too many export goods now, don't you? Oh no, actually, you just have a lot of passengers. Hmm. All right, first copper order delivery. It's not very good, but that's fine. Um, a lot of passengers. I'm gonna actually make this a three stop. I'm just gonna rotate between these three. That should help a little bit. Yep, you connected up here. It's concerning. I mean, that city's not great, but it's definitely not bad. More concerning, though, it, uh, that's why you're doing... Oops. That's why they're doing well. Dar es Salaam is awesome. Also, you'll notice that the AI can build like that. I can't. Thanks, game. I would love to take this city, but I don't think I have a chance. They're actually doing fairly well, so my best plan would be either containment or trying to buy them out. I would love to take this city, but it's out in the mountains where... Yeah, <laughs> that's going to have to be a tunnel to reach the city. That's a long tunnel. You know what? I'm going to call my broker. We are going to buy stock of that railroad. I'm going to scare them a little bit. I'm only going to buy 20,000 shares, but they're going to get scared. Because they only have 10,000. So they will look at it and go, oh no, they're beating me on being able to buy the stock. I'm going to immediately start buying up stock. You'll notice that they just increased their bonds by 500,000 pounds. It's so they can buy their own stock some more. And that's fine. So they will buy their own stock about now. There it is. Potentially buy a second, but probably not. AI is faster than I am, so they're going to be able to buy sooner than I can.
yeah, options. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna keep them like that for now. And let's wait for a bit, I think. They're down in Johannesburg, which is down here. I believe this is Johannesburg? No, that's East London. I don't remember. My geography for South Africa is terrible. My apologies. There's Johannesburg. That's a really good spot to start now that I think about it. Oh well. Not be too bad to expand to at this point. There's a city. Just looking at options for where I might want to expand next. I'm holding firm for the time being. Ooh, that's a lot of useful goods. That's that iron or coal? Iron. Ooh, that might be tempting enough for me to build a depot out there. And that's another good spot for a depot. What would be my approach for here? Only up to 70. That's not that bad. I can split off of here and go over to here. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Right. Was higher grade than I thought it was. I didn't math that. Doing it anyway. Bring a depot down. It looks so tiny. 24 cars a year of iron ore. I should also upgrade my passenger trains now that I think about it. Now mind game. We're doing nothing. Received an email apparently. You are going down here to Chunga Valley and grabbing a crap ton of iron. Three. Four iron. Ah, ah, ah. You're going to drop it off there. I received another email? That's weird. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, he soon started purring. He's in my lap right now. I don't know why I received those notifications. I don't have any additional email. I guess my tablet was just asleep and didn't notice. Okay, unfortunately, this location of a station for Chunga is terrible. Um, are you actually a terminal? No, you're a station. Okay. You're getting upgraded to a terminal. That should help a little. And you, basically it cost me 150,000 pounds instead of 200,000. Not much. You need to go that way. Don't know if I made it in time. No, I didn't. We are going to build a signal tower. That will allow it to turn around, basically. Need bump this up to moderate. So you'll notice that it will stop and turn around. Useful, huh? Unfortunately, I'm probably not even going to make my bonus because it's down really low at this point and I don't have much longer left. But, you know, that's not a terrible thing to have over there anyway. Come on, you're almost there. Johannesburg to Kimberly. Okay, that's fine. They're down in the south. I don't care as much about them as long as they don't get filthy rich. Land here no longer accepts livestock. All right, we got the delivery bonus at least. 
now this can go back to normal. Um, I don't think I had blamed here accepting livestock anyway, so that's fine. Let's start looking at these trains. This train should definitely get upgraded. Because that's my moneymaker right there. This is another moneymaker. Yep, this is not going to look as rosy because I've spent a lot of money this time. Not to mention, bought stock of an opponent that's probably going to have their shares drop, would be my guess. Train 1 and 7 didn't receive maintenance. That's strange. Yeah. they Their stock dropped a little bit. Not as much as the Johannesburg to Kimberley. They are in trouble. Which is good. For me. Export goods from Nadala to Lingongwe. Okay. Nadala to Lingongwe. Export goods. Going the other direction, that would be fine, but it's not. Also, you are having some issues with maintaining things, aren't you? And how are you doing? You have plenty of manufactured goods, don't you? You're actually just about there. Oh, you're waiting, that's why. Okay. Let's drop the weights on these. I don't need them, that's not that long of a distance. This one's should be a wait though. And long way, you are starting to get a buildup of export goods. Also, seeing my options, uh, good storage is not a bad idea. Oh, right, I'm paused, aren't I? Let's go back to moderate and zoom out a little bit. So the zoom actually does affect how fast things go, for reference. I'm pretty deep in debt right now, though. That's not so great. There's the air in our surface. Finally arrived. Extra. You are going to get export and zoom. Okay. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get that bonus. I can use the money right now. How are you all, by the way? I'm just playing with trains. shouldn't have stopped for that. You have a priority ship. Whatever. Okay. I didn't see what that message was, unfortunately. You are going there. And you will switch back to passenger and you arrive. I think I'd be able to figure out what they said. Uh, you didn't expand. You didn't expand. I actually don't know what the message was. Well, crap. Also, the bonus is already down below half of what it was. Wait, uh, dang it, you switched already. I, mm, I messed that up. All right, I'm worried about train nine. Hansburg and Kimberly should have disappeared by now. I wonder why they haven't. Four or five, 
six, seven, eight. Oh, the reason why is because it's taking forever to actually get there. That's it right there. And it will hit maintenance at that point. Yep, that's actually a decent amount of money. Just slow. Okay, you have way too much work goods at this point. Okay, we need a new train. We're gonna have it be three export goods and it's going to go out to the port and then bring back something, I don't know what. Export. 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 That's it. I'm trying to think of what I can return with it, and food is my best bet. I think that's food that might be livestock. Yeah, it's livestock. You demand livestock? No. No, you don't. Grab one food. That should do for now. You have a priority order to go there, because that's actually the correct good anyway. We'll get some bonus, at least. Okay. That's good for rubber. But that requires tunnel to get through. Tunnels are expensive. Oh. I stock in them. Let's scare them a little bit more. Yep, told you that they're going to just immediately buy after me. And they're up to 2 million in bonds. Well, I'm actually going to sell some of their stock now. So the reason why I'm doing that is I'm expecting the stock price to drop now. Asperg to Pretoria, you're expanding really fast. All right, Bismarck decided to go do something up here. I don't particularly care. Oh, you're actually there. Dang, that's a lot of... Darn it, I didn't even see that last one. What was it? You bought more. Seriously, game? What's the current stock situation look like? I forgot. I You can't call your broker while the speed's paused. Ah, I know what they're doing. They're shoring up their own stock a little bit so they can not have to worry about going out of business. So they actually own almost all of their stock as a result. Um, and Beak no longer accepts livestock. I don't think I had it accepting livestock before. I might ha no, I did. That's right. Poop. Okay. That's this. Yep. Okay. This is about time where it might not be a bad idea to build an industry. Uh, stockyard. Yeah, that should be fine. And then you need to be a terminal. There you go. Now you accept livestock again. Good. Otherwise, this would have been a bad time for me. I do have a train that's dependent on that. Uh, 
out and speed things up a bit again. Spooking him. Entire except troops, that's fine, don't care. Finally got that bonus. It wasn't worth it, but whatever. Six and seven I need to worry about. Stock price fell a little bit, that's fine. How are they doing on money now? They're not doing that bad, actually. Entire Tiberia, it's not worth it. Um, what was I doing? Already forgotten. Yeah, you need to be upgraded for sure. Because you only have one car. That's actually ideal for that train anyway. Unfortunately, it's going to pause right here. Oh, no, it didn't. That one did. That's weird. Extra. Do I have it skipping? Yes, I do. Dang it. Green. That'll work. Okay. And they just bought the last of their stock. So at this point, there are no public shares available. I can choose to buy, but I have to buy out all of their stock to do it. So it's a lot more expensive. And it's at double price. So that would be at $74 a share and 50,000 shares. Uh, yeah, that's 3.7 million pounds. It's definitely not worth that right now. Oops, did not mean to click on that. So they will just sit there and stay happy for a bit. Wow, this city's really grown. Unfortunately, the sprawl I'm not catching any of. Kind of annoying. I should look at expanding again. Ooh! Yes, thank you. Um, any of the trains that set records actually get um, bonuses for delivering mail and passengers, if I remember right. So it's always nice to have a record set on a train. Uh, Old West would have been nice, but oops. what does that say? Selling stock. Okay, don't care. Just like Mbaya would have been nice. Extra. But I can't reach either of those. You can't cross another train path. So if I actually encircled them, they would not be able to expand anywhere. And to be honest, they're probably not going to be able to expand anyway, because there's not really another city nearby. Their next city is all the way over here, which is not a great place to build. However, I am thinking about trying to build some rubber plants up there. Six, seven, ten. One of those has been that way for a while. All right, their stock just fell in price quite a bit. That's fine. A long way to go for rubber though. I think expanding down here is my best bet. Or expanding over here. And the Marumba. 
with loop. Let's do a marumba. Yeah, let's terminal up. I'll get a lot more passengers that way. You. That'll work. Although I'm thinking I might actually need better passenger service over here now. Yeah, let's change you to mail car only. your engine while we're at it okay, you're going to be mail car only and then we're going to build a new passenger train hmm. i'm not planning on having this go longer than two hours by the way i just wanted to play something this morning Here. passenger Right. Going to upgrade you some. Um, you're going to have a post office. You're going to have a restaurant. Extra. You're going to have a hotel. Wait, I wanted to see. They have so much demand for mail. Holy crap. I think it's time for a second mail car there. That should do. You should raise it as two mail cars down here. Because then it will actually update next time. There. Okay. That should do for now. Down there. This is not a bad little town, but it's not it's an unlabeled town, which is weird. I don't know why the Africa map has that, but it does. I'd have to tunnel through, which is not the worst, but it's not great. Yeah, I don't know what's with that sound effect. What if? Yeah, Foothills makes a sound effect that makes sense. That one was just weird. I don't care about your stock. You get a good rubber plant and... Yep, I lost a lot of money from other railroads. Oh, that's a lot of trains that didn't do maintenance or revenue. What's going on? Eight, nine, and ten. This would be the spot I can build a terminal. All right. Yeah, terminal at. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to Nadola. Nadola has things. Nine, ten. All of them go to Nadola. Why in the world is this? Oh, that one is probably just because it's a really long route. So, like, it's almost at Mokambique. So having it in having a maintenance shed in Mokambique is not a bad idea. Along with a switching yard. So the switching yard will speed up how long it takes for them to go through the station. 
And since this is an endpoint of a lot of different places, I'd rather have it there. Okay. Um, also, Nampula, you're going to start improving and having like restaurant and hotel. Because you make a lot of money on passengers right now, and you have a lot of them. Probably have another passenger line now that I think about it. So you're the northern passenger line. You're actually going all the way to Nadola. We should stop that. Remove that station. You're only going to hit this section now. Because Ligongwe is going to be my transfer point. That's fine. Uh, Mokambique's a transfer point. That should also speed up how often I'm doing trains. Um, four four zero. Yeah, that is my best right now. Okay. Get this back up again. I mean, I'm doing fairly well. I'm not filthy rich though. I have a million in bonds too. Ugh, that's kind of annoying. I should repay those soon. Okay. Uh, let's zoom back out. My next expansion is going to have to be down here. Apologize for the noise. My housemates checking up on peppers. Extra. Train finally arrived in Maramba. I mean, there's nothing. I mean, this is the only spot that there was actually a city over here. Uh, my next spot would be down here in Francistown. And it's not... Terrible, it's not great. And that's a long distance, too. I'd rather start expanding this way and take this middle. Oh, wow. I'm actually making a lot of money. Let's go ahead and sell or return one of those bonds and start building over here. Okay. So it basically boils down to, do I want to hit this tiny little village? No, I think I'm just going to go straight here. Ignore the village for the time. So deserts actually have no right-of-way costs, which are nice. So I prefer building in deserts. Alright, where should I build? I build... Oh, dang, they're buying my stock, eh? I mean, they can't afford too much more, so I'm not too concerned. I can't afford my own stock right now. Um, yeah. Oh, dang it. What's the grade difference? Uh, I'll just lose one village. It's not that big of a deal. You are the southern train. You are now going to Mokambique. Or to, um, there. Not Mokambique. You are already coming from Mokambique. Okay. Now that that's done, let's wait a little bit, because uh, they're manipulating my stock at this point. I need to get a little bit more money, I think. But I think I will... Uh, yeah. It's not great share price, unfortunately. I'm going to wait until they sell. Because they're going to sell immediately since they're out of money. gonna prove me wrong aren't they there we go buy my own stock still can't afford it my stock price is too high arg well just repay the bond not worth it i'll just deal with it later Extra. i've never heard that music The uh, heck game? I've got nothing. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, not doing so great on stock right now because um, the Dar es Salaam Railroad is losing share price because it's not able to maintain profits. It's down to 15 a share. So at this point it would be 30 a share per stock. Extra. Be a 30 a share per stock, so it would be 100 or 1.5 million to buy them. And I really am thinking about buying them, but that's a lot of debt that they're holding on to. Ugh. I might just sell them. Get my money back while I can. Yeah, let's do that. I'd rather have them go out of business anyway so I can take the land. Bit of a waste of money, but that's fine. Um, I still can't afford my own stock. Great. <laughs> I don't want to buy another bond. I'd rather expand. Pachinga is looking better now, at least. And I'm a little concerned that they're going to try to expand down here. So I think I'm going to build Luchinga. And I think I'm going to do it from here. Make sure I don't screw this up again. Alright, where in Luchinga do I want to build this terminal? Problem is, it's really sprawling, so it's hard for me to figure out where. I think there would be ideal. It's the stockyard, though. And we'll do that. Oh, it's a demand. It's not a stockyard. It's the slaughterhouse. Dang it. Oh, well, they have lots of demand for pastures. Just rearranging track a little bit, even though it costs me money. Don't care. track like that okay so that means that they can bypass this area entirely which not necessarily needed but you know can you're the mega truck uh, mega mail mega mail i no longer want you to hit nandala really weird route that you think you're going to be taking, but okay. I'm going to watch it to see if it actually does that weird loop. Okay, no, it is smarter than that. It was probably just because I was paused. Route map. Yeah. Up there, there, around. Yep, this makes sense. So, you are now going all the way down there. Probably should have two mail cars soon. Oh, this is not going to have much mail now that I think about it. Oh well. Too late. <laughs> Extra. This definitely needs to be doubled. In fact, actually, this entire area should probably be doubled. Extra. That doesn't need to be doubled now that I think about it. There's very little that's bypassing the city. Take a look. See where else we might need to double up on track. I know this area is very busy. That's fine. I don't know why it's telling me about loans now.
They have next to no money. They're probably going to go bankrupt pretty soon. They're just trying to shore up their own um, stock. Why do you keep doing this? Finally buy 20,000? No. Just buying and selling constantly. AI yeah, is not good in this game. Ooh, new train. Um, you are a workhorse train. Kind of mid-grade one, actually. Alright, yep. I took a nasty hit on profits for the other railroad stock, but I decided I wanted out of it. Well, their stock rose. It's kind of surprising. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Dollar one. All the way. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look at engine info. So this engine. 3,000 horsepower, it handles th three cars would be at 40 miles an hour. Engine, this one, three cars would be at 45 miles an hour. And it's the same power, so. I don't even know if you make enough to justify that. Oh, that's right. How much was it at 40, or four trains? 38? Uh, worth it. You have a bunch of things that you'd like to bring back. Yeah, export goods. You have no demand for export goods because only ports do. Arg. I really need... Oh, I actually do have a second spot that would work for rubber, now that I'm looking. Three. Rubber. Well, this doesn't make any difference. Don't worry about it. Not unless if there's a good over here that you want. Oops, not that far. Although you do actually make more money going that way now that I think about it. And you have iron ore. You have iron ore. No, 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 no. You are going to change this. Oh, this is this one, not that. Never mind. You need to be replaced. You need to go faster. It's a long haul. Um, you don't want to bring back rubber. Rubber. Ashunka on copper. Just do three copper. That'll be fine. Okay, oh, and while we're at it, wrong one. Dang it, I keep doing that. While we're at it, let's upgrade this train. Make it go fast. Go fast. I don't care. I am repaying my last bond. I am debt free now, suckers. The AI glitches. Go to moderate so it doesn't bother me as much. Oh, we have a boom now. Of course we do. Um, yeah, I think I will actually take a bond then. I can use that money and put it to good use. Building to Katuma. From here. Actually, I think I am going to go to Umtali. You not? Let's drop the speed a little bit so I can figure out what I want to do. 
Okay. Shut up. Okay, I want to build out to here, especially for this delicious, delicious rubber plant. Oh boy, can I use that rubber. Um, the easiest way to do that would actually be going through Umtali. Umtali doesn't really have much of anything for me except for that factory, which could use the rubber. Never mind. That actually looks really nice. We're going to do that. Station, terminal. Continue on. Not the delicious rubber rose. That is. I did not need to build up that high. Yeah, I actually don't want to build up that high at all. Build track. Station, station size station, which has crap tons of rubber. And then we're going to. Ooh, Katuma also uses rubber. Nice. Okay. The Katuma's huge without a city. It's just sprawl. Ugh. Right of way going through these are. Expensive, yeah, it's 10,000. Villages are 5,000. I think cities are also 10,000. Yeah, I'd rather not build through that if I can help it. How much are farms for building through? Just don't know me that I'm building through a bunch. 3,000, ugh. And plane is 1,000, okay. You know what? It's not build worth building the Katuma right now. Remove this. All right. Area, congratulations, you're getting an upgrade. First off, let's switch back, build track, double these spots. Area is getting an upgrade. Groove station, engine shop. I know Barry is just a depot, it's not going to be a depot any longer. You are going straight to Toy Mill. Yeah. Yeah, you like lots of things now. All right. New train. And it's Baraya, not Baria. I don't know why I keep saying that. Sorry. In Baraya. Baria? Baria? Anyway, you are going out here. And you are grabbing every bit of rubber that you can. How fast do you slope down? Three cars at 45 miles an hour versus four cars at 38 miles an hour. Uh, four cars is more efficient. Um, six cars at 28, six cars is more efficient. This thing's going to be producing enough where I'm actually just going to max this out. Okay. You're going to drop that rubber off here. We're going to switch to export goods. Just do two for now. 
Switching over to here. We're going to pick up food that you have extra. Food and livestock. Uh, you demand food. So, food it is. Food. And back to here. And you know what? Passengers. You are limited. Not that there's any trains in the way, or stations in the way, but we're doing it that way. All right. Let's go back to moderate, not fast, just so I don't constantly get spammed with the stupid constantly buying and selling my stock. How are the stocks looking right now? Okay, that's fine. There's something I can build where you hold on to rubber longer. I don't think that's cold storage, is it? Although I am going to give you a maintenance shop. I don't care. I actually have that turned off. Oh. That's financial news like um, boom and so on. Oh, nothing. Let's just zoom out and let's watch for a bit. So my plan is to make this into a loop, because loops are a little more efficient. I am making a crap ton of money from passengers right now. Yeah, I spent money this time, that's fine. I'm making crap tons of profit, I don't think too many people mind. So, by the way, when the stock rises above 100, to, uh, 100 shares, it'll actually split two for one. <sighs> Extra. There's the panic. Fine. I bought mine during boom. So, all good. Extra. About two hours, though. Hmm. This long ass train. You don't even have enough rubber yet. You pay for nothing. You pay for nothing? It means you don't have any demand for passengers? Really? Okay, well, I'm gonna fix that really fast. We're going down to Caboose because there's no reason to bring passengers with you. And yeah, you're just filling up on rubber. Extra. Honestly, I don't need that many. Oh, too late now. That thing's gonna be a mule. These are huge cities at this point. Jeez, your export good demand is off the charts. Great. At least I think that's what that's indicating. Um, you are thirsty for export goods. Well, I have too many ports for that. I'm sorry. Also, this was definitely placed at the wrong spot. It should have been further in. Uh, you're a terminal. That's fine. You're a terminal now, I know that. Or not. Think of it. What's your uh passenger demand like? Yeah, it's low enough where I don't care. You're a terminal, right? No, you're a station. 
Uh, yes, please. You're a terminal. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to improve you a little bit. You're going to get a switching yard. You're holding on. You're holding on to a lot of export goods and passengers. Where's my expo export good train? This one? No. Oh. Yes. Uh, that's the wrong export good train. Well, uh, you have three export goods, yeah. You have nothing. Ambique, what are you holding on to? You have plenty of. Uh, troops? Do you care about troops? Yeah, I guess. Troops, I guess. Um. Train. Nadola would be the closest, I guess. How many export goods? You know what? Passenger mail. That's fine. Your train type is limited. Okay. How are my trains doing profit wise? Train income. You made nothing last year. That's not a good sign. You made nothing last year. You made nothing last year because I just built you. This one crappy single mail thing. You know what? You can afford a second mail. Fine, I don't care. You have way too much money. I'm a little concerned about that. Did you you're probably about to build down here as my guess. Extra Extra We're at two hours. I should probably stop soon. Maybe eat something today. Six, eight, and eleven have received maintenance. Yep, there's the stock split for two for one. Investors are down to pleased, but that's not that big of a deal. Everybody else's stocks dropped. That's fine. Now that I can actually afford my own stock, I'll buy a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I guess it's time to build the Katuma. Ooh, that went down one. You have less rubber now. That's not great. I mean, it's useful for building, but... Uh, station. We're going to connect somehow. I haven't figured out how yet. I'm in debt again. Because I bought my own stock. Dang it me. 
Jeez, that's a high grade. I need to undo that. Which, unfortunately, I don't recover any money from. That was a waste. Waited out a little bit. I believe we're still in a recession, right? No, we're at normal. build up here so I don't have to deal with the stupid grade problem. Go away! Okay. All the signals how are there. Now, build a new train. Zero. Um, Mariah. I don't know how to say that. Ah. <sighs> I should eat something today. That's what I wanted. So it will basically bounce through here. We need to speed things up again. Right in my thing. Oh, up there? Really? Really? Look at the nasty grade for that. But the AI gets to ignore it for reasons. 462. You are a passenger train one. Okay. Good to know. I think we might be upgrading some trains this time. A lot haven't gotten maintenance. Why? Why? 479. Uh, my stock dropped a little bit. Four? Four? Really? There's maintenance there and there. Seven. Nine. Uh, I think I know why this one's not doing maintenance, and I think that's not that big of a deal. You're succeeding at getting rubber, that's for sure. Okay. Um, well, you need to be upgraded. Oh. You are named. You are not. We're going to upgrade you first. Get you a speed record. You're also not named, though, so I will upgrade you as well. Or no, wait, you're... Right, you're not actually a passenger train normally. You are not upgraded either. Or you are not named. One of those two should get a record. Hopefully. Oh, that's Bloemfontein, okay. Just looking at their crazy-ass railroad. This is a great route in my mind. Just expensive. Oh, doesn't it, isn't it fairly steep? No, just the end is steep. 
Anyway. Johannesburg to Bloemfontein. Yep. Just mentioned. What are you doing? You're actually doing fairly well now. That's unfortunate for me. Pay a bond. That last bond that I have is only at 2% interest. I'm less concerned about that. Great. My stock went down a little bit. That's fine. One received no maintenance this time. Seriously. Right. My stock went up overall. That's great. Everybody's stocks went up. Holy crap, did Johannesburg to Kimberley go up? Up to steamship owner. Might as well invest a little bit into my AI friends. Oh, I think the game won't let me buy stock in more than one company at once. Yep. I'm not allowed to do it as a financier. I have to be a tycoon difficulty to do it. Okay, so you can now go to passenger reference. Also, how much money are you actually making? So yeah, obviously that one's making me gobs of money. This is actually still a pretty good profit generators, these. This one, not as much, but it's not bad. That's actually really good for profit. Yeah, my passenger and mail cars are always going to be making more money, and that's expected. Yeah, I'm actually making fairly good profit per. sprawl. But I am not allowed to do that. It's annoying. I'm making tons of profit. Time for me to expand again, I think. the speed by the way the bongs indicate um how much money you're making for each one of those trains you can just listen and figure it out dang i wish i would have built that in a different spot i didn't build it that's why that really should have been built over here from bowl buy has definitely grown up this rubber Okay, there's not really much I can do up here. I mean, I could theoretically connect to here, but uh, screw that noise. Owesi is also taken, so I'm basically boxed in over here other than this area, which isn't even a real town. You know what? I'm going to build there because I have money. How am I doing height-wise? Yeah, I can slip through that mountain pass. Okay. That's expensive. Nope, 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 nope. That's actually a sharp grade. M. Uh... 
Cost a lot of money, but I'm gonna connect like that and then build a depot here. Okay. So um we need connect over here. Fine. What marumba? A station or a terminal? terminal? We're going to make you have an engine shop. You try it. In room. You choose suckers. Passengers? More passengers. That's cool. Rumba. Why can't I build to there? I guess we're just gonna have you go in the other direction temporarily. Okay. Okay. I did build the station though, did I not? I built as a signal tower, I'm an idiot. Build station, terminal. That's what I wanted to do. There. Also, you're going to be a through train, so you skip um, Chunga Hills. Then you're going to go to Chunga. That'll do. Yeah, this is completely an unnamed city. I don't know why it probably should be named. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Um, down here is my only other expansion direction, basically, until I get through that hell. I'd rather just have them go out of business, or them. What's the survey like going to France? I can do it. It's just annoying. That's a long haul. And I'm going through mountainous terrain. That pass is not great, but not the worst. I can make it work. All right, now left and then left some more. Nope, that's going to be a grade, no matter what I do. Like that. I built in the wrong spot again. Yeah, track. Brawly place, that's for dang sure. Yeah, I've spent a bunch of money this time. Really split two for one. Dang it. We're actually doing fairly well. Extra. World War One started. We're just building our station on top of a city because why not? Okay. You have sugar. Yep, 
you're just going to be a signal tower. Okay. Oh, depot might not have actually been a terrible idea if I would have been slightly over, but that's okay. Um, anything else on along this route that I wanted? I don't think so. I'm going to make an engine here. New train. Francis Town. <sighs> I have a lot of passenger demand, which is the reason why I'm doing it this way, and I really need to eat. It's 13. We'll do that. Bay, that makes sense. They're making a lot of good decisions down there. I should probably rush over to Maputo or this unnamed city nearby Petersburg, but eh, care that much. Bulwau's suburbs is probably not a bad option either. Especially since I have livestock I can sell, don't I? Yeah, I do. Let's do that. That's the wrong train. New train. That one. Legit Francis Town. Ah, oh, I didn't see. That's it. Okay. We're building nothing. We're going to go to Bulwow. We're going to get me some livestock. As we'll do three. Then I'm gonna drop it off at Francis Town. Get some food. Yeah. Francis Town would be providing food. And yeah. Like food and sugar. No, I don't have enough money. Never mind. Food. That'll work. And I'm going to stop it here. I've been playing long enough. Uh, well, hope you've enjoyed. I know not too many of you have actually been watching, but, you know, not zero. Goodbye, Internet. I'll talk to you next time. Oh, I should save before I do that. That would make sense. Save. Okay. And now I'll be heading out. Bye.